One of the many things I've learned this year is that when life throws you a curveball, you've just got to grab it between your teeth and keep moving forward. But struggling to do that this week is a stoic old staffy finding it hard to readjust. You must be confused, you know, why am I here after 13 years? And a little Bichon determined to carry on with the life she left behind. All of a sudden, I'm with the canine equivalent of Captain Mannering gear. Over at reception, the latest in a long line of pups has arrived. Is a nine-week-old beagle cross called Marley, whose owners could no longer cope with him. Break it to me gently. Because he's a bit of a lively one. Oh, he's very eager to explore. <laughs> so it's over to the chill-out room for him. Ah, for me. Hey, up. Hello, Paul. It's a quick debrief. What have you got in today? We do have someone for you to meet, but you're going to need these. Why is this a worry? I have a feeling this might be an extremely bitey puppy. Potentially. I thought it might be. We like to save them for you. Into the throw one more time. OK, I'll go and see him. Head behaviourist Ali is on pup sitting duty. God, look at this. Hiya, Ali. Hi, Paul. I see you've come prepared. Well, I was given these at reception. I thought you were going to empty the bins. <laughs> you know, I've got a part-time job now since lockdown. I've retrained. <laughs> <laughs> so who's this little one here? This little one's called Marley. Oh, Marley, aren't you lovely? Marley came in oh. by the owner because he was just a big handful. They got him at six weeks of age. Six weeks? That's yeah, so young to leave the mother. Yeah, the biggest issue we've had is... A third of pet owners have bought dogs as a result of COVID because yeah. they've got time on their hands. Sadly, a lot of these puppies have been sold at very young ages. Not on, so, is it? No. So obviously when he came in, it was this cute little puppy. So we put him straight out on Foster. However, he's really hard mouthing quite a lot. Pups often bite when they're excited or overstimulated, but it's usually mum that will nip it in the bud. Stop that now. You're not going to hard mouth me, I'm telling you, mate. Forget it. You're dealing with a pro. <laughs> Mum has a really important job to do. She will tell them off when they use their mouth too hard. Will you behave yourself? You're not being a good boy, are you? We're going to have a little tantrum now. I think we are, aren't we? This is where we don't need an animal trader. We need an exorcist. <laughs> I cast you out! I cast you out! <laughs> OK, so maybe that's a bit extreme. How about a biscuit instead? Sit down. No, we're having none of that. So what's the next step for him then? He's going to go on foster again. But this time we're going to put him with one of our behaviour team. Ah, right. So that they can yeah. give him some guidance. Well, he certainly needs it. What is the matter, little man? Go on, get in there and get a warm. He's a good boy. Although Marley's a handful, he's a bit of a heartbreaker. Let's just hope he's a quick learner. While Marley's journey is just beginning, others have had time to work on themselves. And in their twilight years, hope their troubles are behind them. I am the sun. But sadly, that's not the case for 13 year old Staffy Sylvester. Hello. He was found left tied to the gates outside a few days ago. He's in poor health and he doesn't like being left on his own. So he's taken refuge in the lost and found reception. Oh. Hiya, Becky, Hi, how are you? I'm good, you come to see Sylvester. Oh, is this him? Hey, Sylvester. What are you licking on your leg? Got like a little water, you think, yeah. on his leg? He's hey, little covered man. all over in lumps and bumps, hey, bless him. You oh, God, he's lovely. How old is he? He's about 13. Oh, fella. Yeah. Thank you, it, handsome, eh? Yes, you are. It's not that bad. What's up at you? He's not very happy, is he? No, he's desperate for attention from people and all the time. And what's his story? Unfortunately, our security team did find him tied to the gate. Oh. It would have been really hard for Sylvester waiting there and, and not exactly understanding what was happening. Well, he must be, like, confused, you know, why am I here after 13 years? What have I done? Where's my owner? Because they're so loyal as well, staffies, aren't they? Staffies are very people-orientated and known for their kind natures. Look at his little face. Proper dignified old gent. God love you. Wow. 
Yeah. Hey, big fella, what are you scratching there? He's got quite a bad lump at the base of his tail that, that we're really quite concerned about. Oh, dear. It's really distracting him now. Maybe we see if he wants to go for a walk. Do you fancy going out, do you? Yeah, I'll get your coat on. Oh, boy. the tail's going, Alpha That's Ladder, a good look. Good boy. Okay, that's one. Not better. Is it? Where do you want to go now? No, we're not going back in. You've got all dolls up. We're going out. Come on, there's a good boy. No, don't be peeping in there. They might be doing something, you know, private. Bit of a nosy one, aren't you? Look at the space of air nets. Oh, you're a good boy. Good boy. Yeah. What are you looking for, eh? The owner. Oh, yeah. He has a moment where he yeah. says he's looking around. Sad, isn't it? Yeah. It really is sad. God love him. Come on, then. Should we go in? Might be good to, to try and see if we can settle in, in a kennel, because obviously he's got to be in one overnight. OK. Do you want to go and have a look in a the kennel? They're quite nice, you know. Come and see. Come on. Now, let's see if we can get this boy settled. He's a good lad. He's itching to get out, I think. Oh. Oh, he's crying. I can't bear it. Oh, poor old thing. It's upsetting, isn't it? Yeah. It really is. Hey, big man. The thing is, he's got to stay here of a night, hasn't he? Yeah, so it, it might be seeing how he's settling like this. You know, we, we can't leave him this unhappy. So maybe we can take him back to the area we know he's really comfortable. Because he doesn't like this, does he? Not Come on, big fella. Good boy. Come on, this way. It's a good boy. Do you like it, near? Yeah. <laughs> what, you can yeah. just stay with him, Paul. I don't think I've got much choice. <laughs> right, yo, you're going to have a little care. Well, you know, tomorrow is a big day for you. Yeah, because you're going to go and see the vet and have your lumps examined. We'll get you sorted. Don't worry, Sylvester, cos we're going to call in the SAS Super Animal Surgeon, Sean. He's removed 1,386 lumps over the years, so you'll be fine. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> While Sylvester has a little kip in preparation for his big day tomorrow, do you know way down? Over at Old Windsor, someone else wishing that they had a big day ahead of them is eight-year-old Bijon Fries Pooch. She arrived a few days ago due to her owner's ill health. But she's come from a busy home and is struggling to adjust to the quiet life of kennels. Handler Sean has been caring for her. Oh, what's up, sweetie? It must be a terrible shock for them. Oh, it is, yeah. They've yeah. been in a family home to all this time Definitely. and then all of a sudden, yeah. whisked away. Yeah, it's so unfortunate. Yeah. She was obviously very content where she was and it yeah. is, is a shock to the system for them. Poor old hooch. Pooch. Oh, pooch. Pooch, I yeah. calling her hooch. hooch. I'm awful <laughs> sorry, no <laughs> offence. <laughs> Naming yeah. her after illicit booze, hooch. <laughs> I'll have her all day if you want. Sam. Oh, that would be great if I you don't could. Mind. Yeah. What's her face like? Has she just gone home now? Oh, she looks uh, pleased. There's a twinkle in her eye there, definitely. Hey, Bob. Right, madam, let's go for a little stroll around the grounds and give Sean here a break, yeah? Oh, thanks, Paul. Here we go. You're very welcome. See Come you on. Later, pooch. Have a good day. Come on. Now, where are we going? You obviously know where we're going. Usually, Bijons don't need too much exercise, just 20 to 30 minutes a day. But it seems Pooch has a penchant for pace. She can't half move. She's on a mission. It's like going out with me mother. She's determined marching round. It's like Dad's army. Where are we going, Babs? You want to go in here? <laughs> We're going round this way now. Oh, look, a chair. Let's investigate that. I'm with the canine equivalent of Captain Manning here, being dragged around the place. I don't mind, as long as she's happy. What have you seen over there? No, we're not going down there. Forget it. That, no. Oh, come on. How about a little kip instead? Are you tired out after your walk, are you? And because Pooch isn't a fan of the indoor life, I've got a few things to make a kennel more homely. Do you like lavender? Smell that. That makes you sleep. Supposed to have soporific effects. Foo, no, I'm not really a fan either. But I've got another trick up my sleeve. I'm going to treat you to some Enya. How do you feel about that? Oh, OK. You seem quite enthusiastic. Yeah. OK. She's just told me she's tired. Playing music is meant to help with the stress and anxiety in dogs by reducing levels of the stress hormone cortisol. 
Oh, she's gone all May West on me. Yes, she has. There you go. One chilled out dog. I'm like a human valley in me. Look, wait. Well, she's quite a different dog now. <laughs> oh, but it's good to see her like this, nice and relaxed, you know, from a dog who was really stressed. You're not so stressed now, are you? Big any a fan, this dog. So if any is watching, could you send in a signed photo, please? Thank you. OK, Bobs. I'm going to leave you now. Oh, I'll be here all nice if I don't make a move. Ah, I'm sure it won't be long before she gets her forever home. Sweet dreams, Pooch. Some of our residents just love the indoor life. Whether it's a mooch around the offices or being in close proximity to the treats. What have I got here for you? Come and see. And you want one, missus? Here you go. Pensioner Staffy Sylvester loves nothing more than a snuggle on a blanket and a bit of fuss. But today he's due in clinic to have his lumps looked at. Oh, God, you weigh it, son. Come here, sausage. Oh, I've got you. I've got a, a very heavy elderly staff here. And the reason I'm carrying him is because he's had his pre-med and he's a bit wobbly. In fact, he's off his head. Look at him. So I'm taking him in now to see Sean. Oh. Hiya, Sean. Oh, hi, Paul. Nice to see you. I've got a very old staff here, Sylvester. He's quite an old timer, isn't he? Yeah, he's got a hideous lump. Look at that on his back. Yeah, that's a big one. What is it, Sean? We don't know what sort of growth that is. It certainly needs to come off and we'll send a piece away. He's got a few little warts, can you yeah. see, on the end of his foot. He's quite the allotment, really, isn't he? Yeah. This is the unfortunate thing when people do this. He was left tied to the gate. He don't know any of his medical history. That does make it a lot harder. It's so helpful for us to get a history from the vets of any past conditions. Yeah. He's a nice old fella, isn't he? Oh, he's lovely. He really is. He'd break your heart, this one. Hey, little fella. Right, should we get him through? OK. Go on, go and get yourself sorted out. See you later. Oh, God love him. The operation has gone well and the lumps have been removed. But over in Kennels, a Saluki puppy has fallen seriously ill. Staff are doing everything they can to help her, as they suspect it might be a parvovirus. And that's a highly infectious disease that attacks a dog's intestines, causing diarrhea, vomiting, and fever. It can be fatal in dogs who haven't been vaccinated. So staff are battling to contain the infection. Bass has gone into code red, which means everything's shut down. So I'll have to find out what's happening. I don't know, it's a worry. Bex, what's going on? Hi, you're Paul. So, unfortunately, one of our puppies had parvovirus. Mm. So, we've had to deep clean the block and quarantine some of the dogs that are in there. Some dogs have been able to have a bath and move out into another block as God. well. Well, it sweeps through like this and she, doesn't yeah. it? It's a killer, parvo, isn't it? It's really serious, like, as you know. God. So, oh, what a shame, eh? I know. So, we've got COVID to deal with and parvo. Yep. Grace. Yeah. Really, Grace. Yep. Yeah. We better go get him. Yeah, get let's going. Go, Paul. Come on then. While some of the staff are on washing duties, I'm going to pay a quick visit to our residents in lockdown. So all this block, all the length of this now, is all in quarantine because of parvo. The dogs here have either been in contact with a dog that had parvo symptoms, or their medical vaccination history is unknown. And sadly, our old boy Sylvester is one of them. Sylvester? He's just standing there, dazed, so I'm assumed he's still suffering. I can't see, because he's sort of hiding behind the wall. Sylvester's recovering from his operation. His lumps have been removed and they've been sent for analysis. Where's that boy? Come on, come and say hello. Although the dogs here do get some time in the paddocks for exercise, kennel time will increase. <laughs> Which is going to be really tough for Sylvester. Listen to him howling. 
It's horrible. Isn't so it? Horrible. It's upsetting, isn't it? Yeah, you hear a dog yeah, crying. Yeah. No, I can't leave him like this. I need to see him for a pep talk. But first, I've got to get kitted up. I've got to wear one of these. I hate them. I always feel like I should be on Vera. You know what I mean? Standing over a decomposing corpse. And this reminds me of a police wagon. I've been in a couple of them in my time. <laughs> Not because I've committed a crime, because I've been working in clubs and pubs that I've had the police raid. And they always used to take me. Don't know why. Hey, huh? Vivian Westwood, if she saw me in this, I'd be modelling. Until I do this. <laughs> Don't tell Miss Cathcart. That's what I feel like Peggy from IDI. But at least now I'm ready to meet my favourite camper. Ooh. Police wagons aren't easy to get out of, especially if you've got two coppers pushing you. Where's my boy? There he is. Oh, he's such a good boy. Yes, he is. Here's that boy. Come here to me. Oi. <laughs> Oh, where's that boy? Where is he? Oh, Baba, what's the matter? What are you crying for, eh? What is it, little man? You're getting yourself on in a ladder. Come here to me. I think it's time for that pep talk. I'm going to send you a couple of things to make you comfy. A flat screen telly, a big posh sofa, a masseur twice a day. Yeah, French model. Oh, no, 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 whatever. Oh, look at that boy. Yes, I know, I know. He's desperate for affection, but things are going to change, I promise you. I just hope his test results come back OK. I've got my fingers crossed, legs crossed, eyes crossed, everything crossed, that it's not something nasty, something malignant. Oh, did I stop? Sorry. There you go. Being in lockdown isn't easy for anyone. But luckily for Marley, he's been on Foster and learning the basics with behaviourist Lucy for over a week now. Ted! Yes! And I want to see how he's getting on. Hiya, Ali. Hi, you all right? How's he getting on? So he went on Foster and was, yeah. they've put quite a few commands in place. However, we still need to continue to do that. Basically, we need your help. We've enrolled you in some training classes. Throughout lockdown, there's been a six-fold increase in people buying pups, so they now run online classes here to help with their training. Some of the commands that he's going to need to do will be a sit. Sit. So as soon as his bum touches the floor... Feed him. ..you're going to give him a treat straight away. Oh, doesn't sound too difficult. Sit. Oh, you're yeah. ready, sat. Good boy. No, sit. Sit, no. No, 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 no. You're getting confused, aren't you? Now, sit. Good boy. That's a good. Give me your paw. Where's your paw? Come here. Give me your paw now. <laughs> mm, this doesn't bode well. Where's your paw? <laughs> right. I'm the worst dog trainer in the, on the entire planet. <laughs> and yet I've got to go on Zoom now. Don't uh, let us down. No, well, You know, because no. he could get a certificate at the oh, end. Oh, really? Of yeah. Right. You, never mind, no. Why do I get these jobs? Can't I'm I just go and clean a can of lamps or something with bleed? No, you've got to come on, you stop moaning and get I'm on with it. I'm moaning, I'm just... Stay there, Marley. Good luck. OK, Marley, here goes. Just don't let me down. Hi, welcome to the copy class, everybody. So we've got a new classmate, Paul, with us, and Paul is with little Marley, and he's going to show us little Marley's skills. OK, you're going to lie down. Lie down. There you go, lie down. No, that's not lying down. Lie down. Look, I'm going to be under this chair in a minute. Never mind. Come on, lie down. Lie down. Lie down. There he goes. Gonna sit. Come on, sit. Sit. Sit down. Good boy. Can you give me a paw? Where's your paw? Oh, he's such a good boy, aren't he? There you go. So he sits and he'll lie down and he'll give you this paw. You've done really good. You might get a certificate. I think he's earned his certificate. All right, see you later. Good luck with your dogs. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Hi, Paul. Good boy. Hi, I Ali. heard you did really well. Well, he did. He did everything on, on cue. Yeah. So, Don't tell her everything, OK? <laughs> Don't drop me in this. I thought me and you were pals. I'd like to present you with your award. And a prize puppy deserves pure um, gold. Thank you very much. I'm humbled. So he's done so well. Is he ready for the home, do you think? I think we can now. Yeah. He's had quite a bit of training, so, yeah, we'd be looking at trying to get him home now. And I'm sure it won't be long before he's snapped up. And over in the paddock, 
It's good news for Sylvester, too. <laughs> Hi! Yay! His test results came back showing his lumps were benign. You would have a boy. But while Sylvester has the all clear, sadly, the Saluki puppy who contracted parvovirus didn't make it. But thanks to Bassasi's efforts, all the other dogs remain healthy. They're out of quarantine and they're enjoying life again. And Pup Marley is also enjoying a fresh start. He's been living with Catherine in the Kent countryside for a few weeks. And he's now called Frankel. Frankel has been amazing settling in with us. It's been an absolute joy. He just keeps everything interesting all of the time. <laughs> yes? And how's that puppy training coming along? He still does want to do a bit of the mouth action, but he's trying his absolute hardest. I, I could never imagine life without Frankel. Frankel is an absolute dream, and he's, he's such a good boy. Well, who'd have thought that? And how about our lovely pensioner, Sylvester? Well, after a month of Battersea, the Gibbs family in south-east London decided he was the perfect dog for them. For a summer sky. He enjoys his walks and taking to the park and he plays in the garden. He loves playing in the garden, actually. He loves food. Sleep. Uh-huh. And sleep. Oh, looks like Sylvester's got it made. He's adapted really well. <laughs> and he seems pretty comfortable now, doesn't he? I just love giving him a hug and, and just seeing that he's happy and watching his tail go and, and you know you've, you've done something good and it, you know, it warms your heart. It's turned me into a big softie. Oh, way to go, Sylvester. 